Ok, siamo qua, here we are, siamo qui con uh, DJ Volk, uh, Kenny Slade e Ray Zabiza e qui siamo con Nunzio Giurgio, che è l'organizzatore del concerto e vi vorremmo sapere come vi incontrate, ragazzi, come vi incontrate? Come vi incontrate? Beh, vuoi raccontare la storia? Sì, abbiamo incontrato in questo posto chiamato Travelers So it's a group of people who would get together, they would talk about uh, social topics and then they would write music together. And so Ray was one of the facilitators who actually ran the program. Yeah. And then um, Volk and I started off as attendees and then we connected through and just started to make, make music through it. Wow, but this was uh, going on in uh, New Zealand, in Auckland. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, and because little kind of like uh, just a community center um, in, in, yeah, in Auckland city. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nothing too flash. It wasn't like you know, it was just it was just a group of, of like-minded people. Yeah. Um, and it, and we like you know they still meet and it still still goes on today. Like they're, they're doing it now. So we um, just had it yesterday. Well, yeah. Looking at the pictures, and yeah, like you know, like Volk said, it, it's just like like-minded people. You know, people who are interested in the same thing and who have similar goals. You know? So when when I had uh, well, I, I don't want to go too far forward, but when this opportunity came. I was, you know, it was simple. It was like, who are we going to take for other people I'm around already? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. You are speaking about uh, an opportunity. Can you explain exactly what you mean about this opportunity? You started your career in this moment. Um, say again, sir? About the opportunity that you had to start, I think, uh, your, your trip and your career, or you were already a famous rapper in Oakland uh, running the, the, um, the project? I mean, I've, I've, been doing my, I've been doing music in Oakland for sort of the last four or five years. Uh -huh. you know, so I've gotten to the point where um, you know, I have, I have a, a good, uh, good audience. And, yeah. you know, I'm able to do a few shows you know, um, you know, in the main cities. Yeah. But the, I, always had, I always wanted to, um, to go further. You know, I always wanted to take my music overseas. Yeah. And, um, this is, and i do, i took my first european tour last year same time last year i think it was september yeah i think it was september last year and um when i did that that's when i knew no, 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 no. Wait, wait 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 this is <clears throat> i'm doing i was doing it wrong i have to try and get my music out to the world uh -huh. first instead of trying to focus on just getting it to everyone you know to auckland and wellington and stuff like that if i can get it to the world then people in new zealand will listen too Wow, that's interesting. Mm. Questa, this is uh, more or less the same problem that we have here because mm. also Aosta is a kind of a small community. Sometimes we are too focused on uh, this reality, forgetting about what we have outside of here. Mm. But what you said, it's interesting and inspiring for us too. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's been, yeah. yeah. And also the idea of your center where you were meeting Sounds like this place. Yeah. Cittadella is more or less the same here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it's a yeah. similar vibe, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I felt when I walked here as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a community, because what we do is a community, it's a community thing. Yeah. You know, so it's like, um, basically the whole, the point of it is to kind of take people who, you know, they, they're interested in the same things, but they're all in different places. You know, they, one is in his bedroom making beats, the other one is, um, you know, rapping in, you know, some uh, gar garage, Yeah. On the other side, and which is, which is, I think, similar to what they're trying to do here, is just bring yeah. those people together and, yeah. you know, make cool shit yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And uh, about your career, I mean, if you can explain us when more or less you started and the most important uh, moment of the, your... The milestones. Yeah. Um, so I released my first uh, EP, uh, so my first, uh, that one was an LP called Dream Something, that yeah. was in... Um, 2012, I think. Yeah. That was 2000, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, it is. I know. I'm a fan, I know. So it was, that was 2012, and, and that was really the, pro, the, 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 the album that kind of made people go, oh, okay, well, where's this guy from? Like, who's this guy? You know? um, but before that, I was just kind of releasing songs on SoundCloud, and yeah. was just doing it for fun. It was just me yeah. and my friend, you know, just making music for fun. So at that point, you know, Like a blog started picking it up, you know. Uh, there's a radio station called Base FM in, in Auckland. They started playing it, 
And um, I started actually, people started offering me shows. And I said, hey, you know, just come through, can't pay you, but you know, you can get your music out. And I started doing those, you know, I started doing a lot of those. And you know, people would see me live and you know, they'd go on, on the internet and check it out. And that year, I did a, like I did a lot of shows. Um, I did them all for free. Sometimes I just pay my own money to go yeah. to you know Wellington or to the other island and do shows. And because of that, I do. I quickly developed a, a good following. Mm -hmm. And um, from then, we just kept kept working. I released another album, summer album, um, in 2013. Mm -hmm. then, same year, I released a, my winter album, which that same the following winter. Yeah. Um, and so at this point now, but uh, I was really making good momentum. You know, I was now supporting most of the big artists that were coming, and, and, that, and um, you know, I was doing my own tours now. Mm -hmm. But the thing was that I always felt that New Zealand was was small, and I, yeah. I, I I just didn't know how to. You know, I felt like the world is is so big, but it's so far. Yeah. You know, and I just didn't know how to take the first step. And um, what happened then? Then I released the Imperfectionist, which is. That's not my latest project, but it's another project that I did. Mm -hmm. And at that point, that's when I really started thinking. That's when people started to um, message me and say, "Hey, um, you know, I'm from, um, you know, I'm from Paris, and you know, I really like your music." And I said, "Oh, thank you." And then you know, someone else would be, "Hey, I'm from um, Germany, and mm -hmm. you know, I really like your music." And I started, "Okay." Um, so what I started doing was I started asking those people. And I said, "Okay, well, where do you see live music?" I said, "Oh, you know, this this venue uh, over there." and I'd get them to find out who makes the shows happen. And then they started to reach out to people for me. You know, so like all my fans, and, you know, maybe I have five fans there, five fans there, five fans. They started to actually try and make shows happen for me. Yeah, yeah. And um, it took maybe like a year and a half of that. And then eventually I had enough dates that I could you know, do a tour. And, um, and this is more or less the same thing that happened with Nunes, I think. Mm. Because he contacted you. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I came across Razor's music a uh, time ago yeah. because I had the, the desire to listen to rap music in different languages. Uh -huh. So I was so curious, I started typing on Google, you know, and uh, something like Chinese rap, Japanese, uh, in different languages, uh, Arabs, you know, Russian. And then I said, Let, let's go to Australia, New Zealand, and <laughs> let's see what's going on down there. And sure. <laughs> and I found out about this um, collective of uh, rappers uh, called um, uh, Young, Gifted and Broke. And then I just very easy, I started chatting with them uh, through the Facebook, with the social network. And one day they say, um, I would like to, to put you through this guy, raise his business. And I say, okay. And then um, I listen to his music on YouTube and I say, wow. Uh, I like this guy. Yeah. And then uh, came Kenny and, and everybody else. Yeah. And then we started chatting and uh, we became actually friends. So let's see if mm. there's opportunity to come um, in Europe and then in Italy and then in Aosta to have a concert to allow everybody to, to know about Razor's music, mm. which I found, I found it great. And so it's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a good way to spread the, the news. and. Uh, also, uh, what what I liked about him uh, is uh, is his voice and uh, the atmosphere he made in his songs and what he talks about. Because yeah, can you explain you and Ray, of course, well, uh, about the content of the movie? Because this is not so usual to find a, a rapper today mm -hmm. speaking about these kind of things. Mm -hmm. um. Well, I, I, I was literally attracted about your lyrics and uh, you talk about uh, the world, how it is. Uh, and uh, I mean, uh, there's not that a lot of violence in your lyrics uh, to me. It's, it's very smooth, it's very, uh, it's very touching. This, at least for me, it's, uh, uh, it's good. Yeah, where you can find your inspiration then? That's a good question. Let me, I'll just have a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Interview. I just want to have this sit not while I'm talking so that we can maybe cut it if we need to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, ready. <clears throat> well, <laughs> um, so, like Nunzio was saying, my music is, um, my music is kind of, is mostly reflective of the things that I see around me. Um, 
I struggle. I, I can't really write about things I don't know about. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, I, I just can't. I, I'm just not able to do. It. Some people can do it. Some people are real good at you know storytelling and things like that. But me, I kind of have to have seen it around me, either ex or experienced it, or known someone who's you know I have to you know fell to what had happened. Yeah. Um, and I think that and I think that my musical style um, is is because I moved around so much when I was young. You know, I, I've already lived in um, you know, Rwanda, Zaire, Zambia, South Africa, New Zealand. You know, so um, so I think because we were always moving, I was always observing from the outside in. Yeah. You know, we'd move from one country to another, and then we'd be, you know, I'd have to readjust how I see it. You know, and I'm, okay, this is how people inter you know, interact with each other. This is how um, people do things here, and I'd have to kind of. Make make a mental mental notes about that. You know? Yeah. Um, and then move to a new place. Um, you know, move from Africa to New Zealand, and then had to start again. You know, yeah. re, you know, re, restructure the way that I think. Yeah. So I think I always look from the outside. You know, and I always observe people's behavior. Yeah. And I always observe kind of um, what was happening, and and I think that's the reason that my music is. It just so happens that this is what's happening in the world at the moment. You know. Yeah. If we lived in a perfect world, and that's what my music would be about. Um, but I just try and tell. Um, I just try and yeah, I just try and tell the stories that are around me. You know, tell stories for the people that you know that are close to me, and tell stories that I think that are important. You know, sometimes because I think music is a is an important um, tool to get messages across that yeah. I think are important. You know, um, just like with the record that I, uh, my strong woman record that I released yeah. recently. Half of the reason that I released that was because I thought that it was important for people to hear it. it. It was one of the first tracks that I did where I was like, before I started writing the track, I was like, what do what do I need to say? And then I had figured out what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. And then I found the beat. And then I heard, you know, yeah. I listened to a bunch and I was like, yeah, that's the beat, you know. So um, I guess it's just observation, you know. My inspiration comes from observing. Yeah. You know, and things like this coming to us, to coming to, to Italy, you know, those are the things um, that give me that, you know, that that inspiration to write, you know, seeing pe how people live here, seeing yeah. how people live in, um, you know, in other countries in, in Europe, you know, those are the things that kind of give me that, the fuel. Yeah, yeah I can understand. Well, there's also a demonstration that uh, everything is possible, I mean, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, in English they say the other way around is impossible, if you spell it, it's like I'm possible, you know, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, uh, bringing them over here, uh, I don't know, I'm lost for words. <laughs> I mean, See, it's a kind of a dream. It just happened. Uh, yeah. Because of, of this persona, a larger than life persona, you know. And uh, that's it. And then uh, Slade and, uh, and Volker are here as well. And uh, I'd like to ask them uh, how it is uh, your first time here in Italy, in Aosta, and supporting uh, Razors. Um, uh, how it feels to be here today, guys? It's beautiful, man. <laughs> yeah. All the food. <laughs> the food, the yeah. first thing. Sometimes I don't even want to just rap. I just want to sit in the cafe. <laughs> you know? Damn. Yeah. And it's like, it's, you know, it's cheap too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like if you go to New Zealand, the stuff that you guys pay for a dollar, it'll cost us about five, six bucks. Wow. Yeah. It's, so, it's actually yeah. like that. Like coffee is four dollars fifty, five bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Croissant. Cool. Croissant, five dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. but it's it's really amazing, eh? Like, it's open, it's open the the possibilities. Um, this is my first time like in in Europe and like outside of anywhere other than Australia, and it's it's kind of just changed changed the whole way I see life immediately. Just just knowing that that it's all out here, it's all possible, you know. It's, it's a, you know a day of traveling, like a, a long day, but I mean it's it's not impossible, you know. It's actually it's, it's realistic to just just get yourself a ticket and get gone and it's it's inspirational as well for like for for um to make like kind of a lot of beats and stuff so that's like i, I got a whole lot of fuel i just want to get back to the lab get back to the npc and translate <laughs> you know how i'm feeling like the, even the, the the city man like i was walking through there hearing things in my head you know hearing sounds that i'm like this is what this feels like and it's, yeah it's an amazing place they all start it's, it's, it's amazing well, yeah, for, for us too, it's some kind of uh, incredible, but in a way now it's real. Having you here, 
that make me think that, uh, like you said, everything is possible. Mm. Mm. I mean, before that you get here, we were just wondering, yeah. you know? <laughs> they won't show off. Or <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> like a dream, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but now it's real, and we are so excited for tonight. And then, how it is going tonight? Uh, you are opening the, the concert? Yeah. Yeah? yeah so and we'll you are presenting your, your songs? Yeah. Yeah, just do a few songs, um, some from the last project that I did, and then I'll actually be performing a couple of unreleased stuff as well. So nobody's heard it, yeah. not even in New Zealand. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Austin's the first place in the world. Austin, man. Yeah. Thank you. You guys bless me, I'll bless you back. It's good. You know? like Kenny Slade, like I, I would recommend, if you get the chance to see this dude live, get there, because it's, it's energy and it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, I think the people tonight are are going to have a good time with, with his music because it, it's it's a real vibe and it catches you and you just bounce with it and it's that's that's the go so and it's good it's good rap music you know good hip-hop music. yeah, you know, yeah. And i think that's the one thing about europe is like people appreciate you know hip-hop like, yeah you know you, just the average person you know like if they have any interest in it if they as soon as they hear that real stuff they like you know, something like that so yeah yes. so it's, e niente, I'll say something in Italian, non so questa cosa quando va, però se va stasera l'invito è di venire qua tutti in cittadella, eh, l'ingresso è gratuito, loro sono in tournée, poi andranno in, in Svizzera, in Germania, in Olanda, in Inghilterra e eh, in Francia, a Parigi. Eh, quindi siete tutti invitati, tutti benvenuti e eh, io ringrazio ancora Razer Bisa, thank you for coming here, Slade, thank you Mike, e eh, ci divertiremo un mondo sicuramente. E grazie Andrea grazie, per tutto il tuo no. contributo no. per essere stato questa cosa insieme a noi. Grazie a voi. Eh. Eh.